we've had a, we've had a, a, a fairly tranquil life, except for a few little glitches now and then. When our older son, Dix, was born, uh, he was six weeks old, and Harry had a ruptured appendix. Mm -hmm. And we didn't know for about five days whether he was going to live it or not. Uh, oh he was in, in traction with tubes running all out of it. And for about six weeks he, before he came home, was, was like a living skeleton. And then he went back to work. And he was, he's been fine ever since. And the doctor said he just opened him up. His his appendix had ruptured, and he, they had first just discovered sulfur, mm -hmm. and that he just threw a handful of sulfur in there and sold him up and uh, prayed. So we did a lot of praying. But after that, he's been pretty well. So what was the other glitch, Eileen? You said there was a couple of glitches. Oh, well, later, in later years, I mean, he's had hip replacement, had, had a kid who had a a little trouble of his own, and we have lots of worries with that. And uh, <laughs> so, you know, things happen if, if you live long enough, like we do, um, mm -hmm. that you have to get these things, you know, yeah, as long right. as they can keep replacing par parts yeah. <laughs> you know, and, and repairing you so they uh -huh. keep patching us up uh -huh. and we keep moving along. So, but, uh, and you, you do what you, what you have to do. We, I didn't ever intend to come here, but I thought we were going to stay in our little condo, which was two bedrooms and two baths, and, and a one floor and a garden, garden patio home, uh, until they carried me out. Well, they did carry me out, but I'm still here. <laughs> yeah, I'm a fighter like Kim. Yeah. Mm. Right. So my, my doctor says I'm tough. The doctor's yeah, right. Maybe I am. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Foxy babe and she's tough. Mm -hmm. <laughs> One tough lady. Well, we learned to, both of us have learned to be fighters because of Kim. Of course, he came later, but the idea was there. <laughs> <laughs> he was an angel child. Dick, on the other hand, was a very busy old boy. Busy? He was so busy. He wasn't mean or anything, but he wasn't the kind of cuddly kid. Ken would still be sitting on my lap if I, you know. Yeah. yeah. Now I can sit on his lap. Yeah. <laughs> but um, but Dick was forever busy, 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 getting into everything. Huh? Yeah, he was so, wound. He was. He was. Still is, probably. So then, then he turned it. I never expected, I never really knew what the boys were going to grow up to be, what they were going to choose as a profession. Mm -hmm. Dick. Well, if you had listed a hundred different possible professions or things that a person could do, the very last one would be police officer. And Dick, because of the, what Dick was as a kid, what did he turn out to be? police officer. And yeah. he loved it. But he knew loved it. He knew what every kid could do. He could think for them. He knew exactly what they were going to do. But he was, uh, he enjoyed it all, all the time he was a police officer. He, he would stand on, on the corner and he'd see kids doing what they're not supposed to do. And he'd team out of the car, his car window two blocks away. So he would drive around and catch these kids doing what they're not supposed to do, and, and he threatened them. So he says, uh, again, if I ever catch you doing what you're doing now, after I'm letting you go, I'm taking you to jail. So you know, they promise everything like that. And so he leaves, goes around the block, and immediately the kids go right back to what they're doing. And the media said, Kent's come back behind him. <laughs> Kent says, oh, because it's the, so he tells the kids all pile, pile in, in, in the back, in the back, and he takes them around to the jail area and everything else, and takes them to the jail, and, and uh, 
we've got these kids crying already and everything like that. And uh, he says, crying is not going to help you. You're going to jail. You're going to go to jail because I told you if you ever did this, you're, you're going to jail. And oh, well, they promised, I'll never, I'll never, never again. You know. Finally, he says, okay, I'm going, it's against my best wishes. I'm going to give you another chance. But remember, it's against, it's against my thinking. If, you, if I ever catch you, there's going to act, no argument is going to help you. Okay, okay. So he left, and believe me, those kids from now on, they're straight as an arrow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's great. Good story. Well, great stories.